to like, subscribe, share my videos, comment, and then hit that button over there to be notified whenever I upload new videos. Let's get into this beautiful, delicious um, egusi soup tutorial. Over here, as you can see, I already pre-cooked my meat for this um, delicious soup. It's a whole lot of different variety of meat. Cow leg, cow tail, um, tri tribe, cuomo, goat meat, name it, it's in here. Here is the um, dried and um, smoked um, turkey. I'm going to cut it in bit size and add it to the soup. This is okra for the added kick. Egusi. This is dry melon, a goosey, we call it in Nigeria. Right here is a stock fish already cooked, ready to go. Dry fish right here, soaked in water, about to be washed. Here is a, a bitter leaf, already washed it, and I'm gonna use it. Over here is the oguri. Right here is the blended uda and otazi, it's over here. And here is a seasoning, different kinds of seasoning in here. Um, Scotch bunny pepper, red habanero pepper, Cameroon pepper, whatever it is, I just call it pepper. Right here I have onions, yellow onions and red onions, tomato, um, green, be red bell pepper, tatashi, and all my garlic over there. Salt, crayfish. Minor seasoning and my red palm oil. Let's start cooking this food. I have the agusi right here, and this is the stock of the meat that I used for this food. The stock of that meat that I showed you that I cooked, I'm gonna pour this agusi in here and keep boiling it, keep stirring it. I will reduce the heat, otherwise, it's gonna burn, and I don't want it to burn. I'm gonna keep stirring in the stock slowly, reducing the heat because a goosey burns easily. I'm gonna keep stirring. I will cook for up to 20 minutes before any other step. While this is boiling over here, I'm gonna prep the other stuff. This red bell, pep red bell pepper, I'm not cutting it in big sizes. I just want it to flavor the food and to give it some nice coloring. So I'm gonna make it um, medium size, medium small size, just because I want it to color the food as well. I'm gonna keep stirring and stirring. If you do not stir this baby right here, it's gonna burn on you. You don't want a burnt egusi soup. You're gonna keep stirring. Whatever you do, do not take your eyes off of it. You know, it takes a while to cook. It takes like 20 minutes to 30 minutes. You're gonna keep stirring. This pepper is very spicy. Right here, some people like pepper. And some don't like it. I don't mind it. I don't mind eating without it as well. So, eyeball it, put according to your taste bud. And then it colors the food brilliantly. I mean, it gives a superb color. Another reason why I use it. You could use any pepper of your choice, any pepper you have on hand. As you can see, it's been cooking for a while now, for like 30 minutes. And the texture has changed. It's becoming lumpy. And you can see the oil is on top of it. It's sitting on top. That's how you know it's ready. So I'm going to go ahead and add some bitter leaf. Just because I want it to cook as much as the soup will cook. I'll stir it in. Add a bit of my water because I don't want it to be very thick. Don't forget to add your oil, your palm oil. You stir, 
Add all the oil you want to add at the same time. Do not go back later on and add it because it needs to cook and it needs to integrate. Otherwise, the taste of the food will be terrible. Now I'm adding my ogiri. This is it. I'm adding it. Just for an added texture and kick. Let that uh, integrate in there. I'm adding my tomatoes and peppers. I'm going to add all of my tomato, but I'm not going to add all of my pepper. Just because I need some to still be alive at the end of um, the cooking. Actually, I'm adding oil, all of them, because I have a plan for the end of the soup. And then cook for 10 more minutes before you add, a hold on, I did not forget my onions, ooh, and my garlic. A whole lot of it. Secret of every good cooking is better than Noor and Maggie. It's coming together. You can see the color of the soup. Oh my. It smells amazing here. Cover for 10 minutes and come back to it after 10 minutes. So I'm cutting off the big turkey meat. I love smoked turkey meat. It brings something different to the food. I mean, it's not chicken. But it's smoke, the smoked flavor, it's so tasty. It melts in your mouth. You gotta put it in your food. Smoked turkey. I get it at my um my grocery stores like ShopRite, Stuff and Shop. This I actually got from BJ's. So if you live here and you have a BJ, go over there and grab their smoked turkey. And then you just snack on this one. This, this will make a very beautiful snack. You cut them into bite sizes. Throw them in your food. And your food is good to go. I'm adding the cray crayfish. Remember the crayfish? We didn't add it yet. So I'm putting it in. Some pepper. The Uda Anotazi. And then you taste. If it needs, remember, I use the stock of the meat to cook it. So before I add an extra salt or seasoning, I have to taste it to make sure I need more. Mm hmm. Add some more, a little bit of no seasoning. And then the dry fish is going in. Stir together. Cover, cook for 10 minutes, then come back and add other stuff. So it's been cooking for 10 minutes. It's time to add the stock fish. Look at this beautiful stock fish. It's time to add the turkey. Uh, uh, unbelievable. Can't wait. Cannot wait. We haven't even added the meat yet. Oh my God, there might be no space. But that's how we love it. We love it like that. So now time to add the rest of the meat in here. Quite a lot, but that's okay. just gonna integrate it into this food whether they like it or not 
We're gonna mix, 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 mix and match. So it's been cooking for 20 minutes. Oh no, not 20 minutes, 10 minutes. No, let's start again. It's been cooking for 10 minutes. It's time to incorporate the okra. That's the key to this agusi soup. Who says you cannot cook okra and agusi? Who makes these laws? I don't follow no laws. I cook them and they turn out right and I keep cooking them like that. I keep mixing and, mixing and ma matching. You could totally do that. You could do whatever you like to do in your food and this is how I like to do it. Most of the time, This soup is ready. Believe it or not, our soup is ready. And you think it doesn't have some soup in it. It has lots of soup. Look at this. This is just what you're looking for. It has a lot of soup. We cannot wait. Look, it's so rich. It's our Easter pot of soup. Oh my God. I can't wait to eat this soup. Oh, mm -mm -mm. So I'm going to plate it, y'all. And then you all come and eat with me. So guys, this tremendous egusi soup with a kick is ready. Tell you what, egusi has already sweetness to it. So when you cook it with a bitter leaf to contrast the sweetness, and then you bring in okra to it, oh my God, it becomes amazing and fabulous. Try it. To me, it's awesome. I tried it. It's beautiful. I cook it all the time. Why don't you take my kitchen to your kitchen? Cook this and tell me, how it went don't forget to like my videos subscribe comment share and above all hit the notification to be notified whenever i upload new videos remain uncommonly blessed try this soup bye